there's something so satisfying about just doing this right now just making a video what up beautiful soul family what's happening welcome to another video vlog episode two i guess i'm finding it quite easy to make these videos i know there's not much to them but i made a video that's i think i'm going to put out tomorrow it's something to do with momentum and courage and stuff like that it's just basically what i'm experiencing right now which is all of the insights that i'm ever sharing at the moment that's a lot about courage and trust and faith and building momentum and kind of starting over again like a fresh start so i made a video about that i'm going to put it out tomorrow but this video is answering the questions some of the questions that you guys so generously left me in the comments of the last video how does it make you feel when your viewers tell you how much you inspired them because you guided supported and inspired me through the most transformative years of my life with your vlogs and i can't thank you enough for that ben it makes me feel loved it makes me feel seen it makes me feel appreciated it makes me feel like I'm doing what I'm meant to be doing, what I'm supposed to be doing, because deep down, deep down, I know, not mind knowing, but heart knowing, I fucking know that we are meant to be here and we are meant to be having a good time and we're meant to be free and we have the opportunity to live the most incredible experience here during this short time on planet Earth. I, I know that to be true and so, that's the kind of energy that I was, that I like to embody and create from and communicate from that kind of energy. Let's fucking go. It's amazing. It doesn't even have to be a certain way. You can tap into this state of consciousness where life just is in incredible. Like, comp like, anyway, it makes me feel so nourished to know that people are inspired by my content. That's it. For me to be able to share my love for life with you guys and for you to be able to receive it, for you to receive inspiration or anything from me that comes from this energy of like excitement for life and joy and enthusiasm and inspiration and just like, come on, let's go. That kind of high vibrational energy. If you can receive that, that's the biggest gift for me. That's it. Just to know that someone else might feel the way I'm feeling where I, when I'm like, fucking yes we we made it we're here we're here you're alive aren't you what more do you need what more do you want from life whatever you need and want go get that but as a foundation we won we're here aren't we're here and i'm saying that and i've got like no money i trust i trust that i'm where i'm supposed to be and trust that sometimes you have to fucking start again and i'd love that that too is part of the excitement of life. It's part of the journey. The whole thing is some magnificent miracle that's unfolding constantly. And that's how I fucking feel about life. And if you can receive that, that's the biggest gift that I could ever ask for. So it feels amazing. It feels amazing to connect and to share this life and this journey with so many incredible people that are still here after this time. Let's go and we're just getting started again. It feels like really with this eclipse yesterday, I'm just like totally fresh, totally fresh energy. I know who I am. I know what I want to do. I know how I'm going to go about doing it. And I trust my heart and I trust the universe. And I want to take you guys with me. <laughs> what? I can't think of a better life. I can't imagine a better life. So I hope that answers your question. <laughs> Fuck, I don't know if I could do another question after that. How does it feel to inspire people? You know what? I've been inspired by, I've received so much inspiration from other people who have been generous with their, with their energy, who also want to inspire other people because they've received it. Where do we receive inspiration from? I've received inspiration from when I was an athlete, the, 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 the guys that were faster than me, that they were my role models. I received inspiration for how fast I could become as a kayaker and how to race and how to live life as a, 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 as a person that is devoted to a mission. 
to become world champion was my mission, finish that chapter and then I was looking for inspiration in other places. Curtis Morgan. And uh, there was a movie that inspired me called um, The Art of Flight. It's a snowboarding movie and you must watch it, even if you're not interested in snowboarding. I'm getting goosebumps just thinking about it because it's the M83 soundtrack and it just makes me fucking cry every time. <laughs> How do you know when something is really inspiring you at a deep level? It moves you. It moves you into action. It's like you tap into something on the outside as connected with something on the inside that just goes Poof, which is what happened when I watched The Art of Flight, which is what happens when I listen to music that really moves me emotionally and I receive the art and a reminder from the artists of how incredible life really is. If you're connecting with anything that I'm sharing and it's moving you emotionally or inspiring you, showing you something, that's my mission complete because I've, I've received that and so I passed it on. The inspiration to keep going, the inspiration to create, to explore, to never fucking give up. Thank you for not giving up. Thank you for receiving. It's the biggest gift. That's why that's such an incredible question. To inspire others is the biggest gift ever because it's just passed on. It's passed on. And it's actually not anything to do with me. Let me know in the comments what fucking... what gets you in your feels and makes you want to move your butt, like makes drives you. Let me know what it is that really inspires you. I've just finished listening to The Alchemist, the book. I've read it once before. That book changed my life. It's the reminder. It's the permission slip. It's the, if I can do it, you can do it. If I can do this, anybody can do it. Sure, I've had a relatively easy path. Things could have been much harder. And yet people in much more difficult and challenging situations than me have taken it much further. That's the permission slip. You can do it. What do you want to do? is the next question. Like, how do I know what my purpose is and what my meaning of life is? What gets you fucking amped? What gets you lit? What makes you fucking stoked to be alive? And if you don't know what that is, it might be because you're thinking a lot and you're not feeling a lot. Infinite numbers of reasons for this. First of all, it's hard to be a human being that feels stuff in the world that is constantly bombarding you with negative stuff. How are we supposed to create a life for ourselves that is fun and free and full of creativity and interesting people and travel and excitement and adventure and inspiration if we're constantly in fear the whole time? We can't. We can't even consider that. If I'm trying to just survive the whole time, there's no way I can even notice what's inspiring me. So when I ask people that I'm coaching, what do you care most about? What would you die for? They're like, I don't know, because I can't feel anything. So that's the first place. Feel, get into the body, start feeling. Allow yourself to be moved emotionally by music. And after a while, you begin to realize you don't need to summit a mountain at summer, sunrise in order to feel alive. You don't need an ice bath in order to feel alive. You just have to be here, present, to actually feel anything just the experience of being alive. From that, I draw the most inspiration. Be inspired by me, but be inspired to go searching for your own resource of inner inspiration. That would be how I'd finish this video. We did one question. At least I could stretch this out over a few days and we can make more videos. I love you guys so much. Um, what do you think of my little animation that I've started doing on the iPad for the intro. I don't know what I'm doing with animation at all, but I think that's quite a fun place to be with it. Anyway, I'm going to answer a couple more questions tomorrow. I love you. I'll see you in a video real soon. In the meantime, remember to work smart, be kind to people, keep your heart open, and try not to get lost or killed. I love you guys. Goodbye. Goodbye.